Welcome to our Blender tutorial on scaling objects. In this comprehensible guide, we'll explore various techniques and methods to scale objects effectively in Blender. Also, I'm going to show you some tricks, some tips I learned from um, other experienced users. So if you are a beginner or experienced users, make sure you uh, watch this video till the very end because I'll provide you with some valuable insights and tips to enhance your 3D modeling skills. So scaling and, and just uh, scaling in general is a fundamental aspect of 3D design, allowing you to resize objects accurately and proportionally. So throughout this video, uh, we'll demonstrate different ways to scale objects in Blender, covering both basic and advanced techniques. You'll learn how to scale objects in different ways. So now without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So the first method, and that's the basic one. So here I will add the cube, simple cube. If you want to scale this cube, all you have to do is you can click on this button, which is the scale resize selected items. You can also select this one. If you don't see this tool here. If you click on T, you can hide here. And if you don't see it, probably it's hidden. So press on T on your keyboard. And to enable, I'll enable this. And uh, you can change the size uh, of this object with this scale tool here. So I'll change the size. So now we now you can scale objects on the X axis here X scale object on the Y axis here scale object on the Z axis like this. Perfect. Now if you press N, click on item here, right over here item. From here you have rot location, rotation and scale. From here, you can also change the scale on Y, Z axis. So there's not, this is another way. Now, another way is to go to edit mode. So here in object mode, select edit mode. And then here, click on tree, on a tree, sorry, on face here. You can also click on tree, but is that's the shortcut. And now we can select the face here hold here and uh, select tweak and select this face. Now please press on S. Now this will scale this face and you can, you want, if you want, you can scale the face on the X axis, which will not do a lot because it's the face. But if you select now edges here and select the both of these edges and press on S and then on Y, or let's say this one and S and Y will not do anything, but because it's on Y axis, but if you just select S, this will scale or S will scale here, this edge. Now, if you want, we can select vertex, select this vertex here. Let's select, select box, this one, and now press S. If you press X on your S to scale and X to scale on the X axis, you also see this line here, this, which is from here, you can see the X axis on Y, which will not do because the line in uh, Y axis is like this, S and Z, which will scale on the Z axis. If you want to see the Z axis, if you go is where is it we should have it we should have it here axis x y and z and now if you click on z now you see the z axis as well perfect control z if you want to undo and now you can also Let's say here, I'll select, delete everything and maybe an object mode here. I will add a um, plane as to scale this plane. 
and now I'll press on the keyboard control plus R to add some loop cuts but make sure you are in edit mode and here let's add some loop cuts and now press on your keyboard or one or click here on the select vertex and hold shift and select all the vertices here and you can press on s to scale like this and press shift plus z and now we'll only scale on uh, y z on the z uh, on uh, ac sorry on x axis y axis and on the x axis and on the y axis will only scale press on z will not do anything but this will be better if you press ctrl and z this will lock this is very helpful because you can create some nice shaped shape uh, shapes sorry now press a to select everything and a and a to extrude so yeah if you press on e you can extrude a to select everything and a e to extrude e to extrude thank you guys for watching i really hope you learned something and this video video helped you this tutorial helped you in your journey of learning blender thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe for more tutorials and like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care.